Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the most recent episode of Monday Night Raw from August 19th, last night's Monday Night Raw. Um, so yeah, if you're here and you like WWE, I do these reviews like around twice to three times a week. Uh, if there's PLEs, if there's NXT PLEs, there's four times a week, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how we usually do these reviews is that I go over all the matches and segments, I rank all of them, and give the full show a rating at the end. So... So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for main segments. Like there are some parts where like uh, some matches were supposed to happen, but it didn't happen. So I'm not gonna count those. But yeah. So it started off with Randy Orton and Gunther's segment. It was it was it was pretty good. Just nothing really special came around it. Uh, just the main event got set for that. But yeah, nothing really special happened there. I'm gonna give it a three point eight out of five. And yeah. Next up was Sheamus versus Pete Dunne in a really freaking awesome match. Pete Dunne is. Skilled, he's skilled as hell. On NXT, he's been recently having he's been recently having bangers with just about anyone. Uh, and main event too, he's been having good matches on main event. Um, and he had a banger here on Raw too. Sheamus got the win too, uh, in a really badass way too. His hand was his arm was stuck in the turnbuckle, yanked it out, huge broke kick, and he won. But that was a really good match. I'm gonna give it a three point seven out of five. That was awesome. Next up was CM Punk and Drew McIntyre's promo segment. I actually really liked it, even though nothing much really came from that. Only the announcement of the match. CM Punk's promo before Drew McIntyre came out. I, it, I think it was really cool to like see all those stories about Fanatics Fest and all that. How people just admire CM Punk. Or why CM Punk is feeling happy. And then Drew McIntyre came out. Uh, they set the match official for Bash in Berlin. A strap match, which I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to give that a 4.3 out of 5. That was pretty cool. Next up was the New Day versus Final Testament in a six man tag team match. Um, that was honestly pretty. Honestly, got, it kind of got good. It was pretty fun to watch as well. I thought the Final Testament would win, and I thought Woods would turn heel, but no, we're gonna obviously they're gonna save it. Triple H, you know him. I thought they were gonna quickly execute on it though, but no, they're not. They're gonna let it go. They're gonna drag out. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It was pretty cool to see. Obviously, Jones actually wrestling more. Um. It was cool to see the whole thing, but I feel it's going to happen. The breakup is going to happen sometime soon. 3 out of 5. Next up was Bronson Reed versus The Miz in a no disqualification match. That was actually better than their first bout. The first bout was about, eh. This one, it, it was it was better. It was actually pretty good. Uh, of course, Bronson Reed had to get the win, and he was going to kill The Miz. But Braun Strowman came out, and we know that we know what happened from there. I mean, I'm excited for that match next week. Big meaty men! I'm going to 3.2 out of 5. Next up was a women's tag team championship between uh, Damage Control, the Pure Forehead, I mean, Fusion Collective, and the Unholy Union. That was honestly pretty fun. It had a lot of action in it. R pretty fun match, in my opinion. The Unholy Union won clean as well, which uh, is something that needs to happen with most heel champions at this point. I know Gunther would win clean because he's Gunther. Who else is a heel champion? Nia Jackson went clean, so I'm, I'm hoping like every heel champion can start winning clean. So it can just make him look strong, so yeah. Or that's just what my opinion is. They should mostly win clean a good amount of times. Sometimes dirty wins, yeah. Sometimes dirty wins, but they need to win clean sometimes as well. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'm sad damage control didn't win, but at the same time, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah. And the main event was Randy Orton versus Lubbock Kaiser. This was okay, I guess. Uh, it was it was decent. Just nothing really too special. Uh, Randy did get the win, though, which obviously, because he's Randy. Uh, but then a brawl happened. Gunther stood tall for Randy, and that's that. That was, the, that was it for Raw. You had some segments where Maxine and Ivy were supposed to fight. It didn't, it didn't end up happening because of Wyatt Six came out. Uncle Howdy makes his debut next week after uh, completely brutalizing or completely destroying Chad Gable with his sister Abigail. And then I think another match was supposed to happen was Damian Priest versus Dirty Dom Mysterio. Uh, but the Judgment Day finally overpowered the Terror Twins, so that's cool to see there. But I think those are the two things that did not, did not end up happening. So if I had to rank these segments, Sam Hogan, Drew McIntyre goes number one. Randy Orton and uh, Gunther segment goes number two. Sheamus versus Pete Dunne match of the night goes third. Fourth is a Women's Tag Team Championship. Number five is Bronson Reed versus The Miz. Number six is a New Day versus Final Testament. And the worst match of the night was Randy Orton versus Lobo Kaiser. Uh, yeah, the full show was actually pretty cool. It was pretty fun to watch. Uh, every match actually was decent. Like, every match was either good, great, or decent. Nothing bad at all. I'm going to give it a 4.2 out of 5. I like this raw. And that'll do it for that. Thank you all for watching, and have a freaking good day. Goodbye.